hello everyone welcome to this channel and uh, we are going to uh, see what cross-site scripting is and what are the mitigations what are the practicals and uh, what are the types of cross-site scripting so uh, first thing is first uh, we are going to discuss about um, content so first is introduction to XSS, access types and practical lab what can accesses be used for impact of accesses vulnerabilities mitigation steps and then in the uh, upcoming series we will discuss about reflected accesses proof of concept uh, practicals stored accesses dom and blind accesses so this uh, video series is going to be very helpful for uh, bug bounty hunters who who just going to start who are having the intermediate knowledge and who have also advanced they can brush up their uh, knowledge here so firstly uh, we are going to discuss about xss that what it is actually uh, so it's a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to compromise the interactions that users have with a vulnerable application uh, it allow an attacker to circumvent the same origin policy which is designed to segregate different websites from each other let's say you are an attacker right uh, now you are thinking to find a vulnerability access is vulnerability on a some website then how you will do this right so that's where the cross-site scripting vulnerabilities are uh, normally allow an attacker to masquerade as a victim user to carry out any actions that the user is able to perform and to access any of the user's data means you are an attacker you know uh, you want uh, uh, you want to send some malicious code to to the victim then definitely you are going to use cross-site scripting uh, with the within the uh, website and that link you will send to victim as soon as victim will click on uh, click on that link the legitimate website will open but the malicious script will also execute so now once the legitimate website has opened uh, what what the victim will do he can uh, if there is any user credentials then uh, then attacker can get to know the, that user credentials as well if he is uh, uh, giving any uh, you can say credit card numbers or ATM card numbers uh, any other bank uh, banking details then that that also uh, is going to be breached so at last if the victim user has privileged access this is very important that uh, if the uh, attacker having a privileged escalation of that application then it's going to be a full control over that application functionality and data it means that overall whole uh, you can say whole data is going to be compromised not only that victim but also other other than that victim so this is the concept of uh, concept of XSS. First thing is first you uh, you have to uh, send a malicious link, right? Which is having looking like a legitimate website, which is actually a leg legitimate website, but uh, there is some uh, your uh, uh, malicious script which is running in that. So once the victim clicks on that legitimate legitimate website, it will open. The browser will uh, load legitimate website but it also execute malicious script as i said now whatever whatever the action victim victim will do here all the information is going to be leaked or breached to the attacker so uh, this malicious script sends victims private data to the attacker so i hope this this concept is very clear because it's very uh, easy to understand but uh, i can say somewhere it's uh, sometimes it difficult to uh, found a bug in any uh, in any of the website and what are the diff types of accesses attacks so first is reflected accesses where the malicious script comes from the current http request means uh, it's a stored accesses you have seen many times that there is some contact detail there which which is ask for your username uh, any message you want to share then these are the things is going to be stored where uh, within the uh, website database right so this is the stored accesses and third one is dom based uh, access where the vulnerability exists in the client side client side code actually rather than the server side code okay so 
the next one is what can XSS be used for so before going there I want to show you the lab, lab practical of this XSS that how we can achieve so we have a website let's you let's say you have a website and uh, you want uh, you want to find a bug but how you will initiate that's a point so uh, that's why I, I am just sharing these all the things from the basic to advanced so firstly the first thing is that you need to search whether this page or this uh, search box is reflecting something or not so let's say I'm just writing hello uh, so it is reflecting hello now you can right click here you can click on view page source and control F you can say hello see hello is here right now we are going to insert a malicious script let's say script alert xss and I'm closing this script right now as soon as I will click on go it will pop up something what is it is pop up it is pop up xss right so in this place you can you can write anything in the uh, in the place of xss you can write anything you can write http google.com or any malicious website uh, that will also pop up right or you want to make a URL of that you can do that as well so once you will copy these this link and you will send to another uh, person or you can say your victim uh, the same thing will happen with him and that malicious uh, script is going to be uh, you can say uh, execute so if there is something user credential then definitely is going to be breached to you uh, you can uh, easily get to know these things now this is this was the example of reflected one because uh, you, you can see it is reflecting whatever whatever I am writing here now uh, it is reflecting right so what about the stored one let's say uh, we are using let's say artist now see here name comment it's not going to reflect you it will store it try to understand the concept the reflected one is reflecting something to you in front of you but these are the things is not going to reflect in front of you it means the website database having something which is storing it so it's uh, going to in the uh, website database let's say uh, I'm writing something my name is summer and also I'm writing in, uh, here summer then once I will submit it it will say summer thank you for your comment right but now what will happen if I will send the malicious script let's say I'm sending this one whether it is sanitized or not if it is not sanitized then definitely it will show a pop-up so let's see see here we got a pop-up our XSS is successful there is nothing sanitized that's why that pop-up is come so hope you you got understand the basic thing of xss that uh, what is the concept the main thing in in this video lecture is the main thing is that understanding the concept of xss because these reflective and stored xss we are also going to discuss in the uh, for second video lecture uh, briefly you can say we will also see some proof of concept concept uh, those who have got a bounty or of for reflected XSS for restored XSS even for a blind DOM uh, correct so don't worry about that we will discuss uh, all those things but uh, this is the just a basic thing which, which from where we are starting and then if if you have you are going to uh, you can say uh, going for an interview then definitely interview ask some questions that uh, what accesses can be used for so you can check these things uh, I can show uh, impersonate or masquerade as the victim users carry out any action that the user is able to perform capturing the user login credential as I showed you uh, perform virtual defacement of the website uh, you can inject a Trojan functionality into the website 
so this is what accessors can be used for and impact of accessors vulnerability so you are using accessors but you should aware about the its uh, what is the impact of accessors so the first thing is that if the compromised user has elevated privilege within the application then the impact will generally be critical allowing the attacker to take full control of the vulnerable application and compro uh, compromise all user uh, and their data so there uh, there might be a, a data breach and nowadays uh, there is a lot of uh, you can say company whose data is breaching let's say <laughs> moviquick and facebook recently uh the and and what what we can do we can also get the information of all the sensitive data all the banking transaction emails healthcare records and others impact also uh, can be happened uh, through accessors vulnerabilities the main question is how to prevent mitigate uh, mitigate accessors attacks so before proceeding uh, i would say whenever you are going for an interview then uh, interviewer is going to ask you uh, some things like first question might be they ask that uh, accessors is client side or server side uh, what is the difference between accessors and csrf uh, what are the mitigation of accessors what is the difference between reflected and stored so these are the basic things they can ask now uh, as a developer how you will mitigate or how you can develop a website which is uh, uh, which can prevent accesses attacks so you can do these things filter input on arrival right you can encode the data on output side uh, you can also use appropriate response header not the simple http response header but the content type x content type or you can say type option headers so those who are developers they know it better uh, content security policy which is the last line of defense you can use uh, use it to reduce the severity of any accesses vulnerabilities that is still occur so uh, guys that's it uh, till now and we will discuss in the next video lecture in a briefly uh, about the reflected accesses it's a proof of concept practically i will show you the live demo of reflected accesses in the second video lecture so uh, you can follow us on twitter instagram you can uh, yeah send any message to me on linkedin uh, there is telegram channel you can join it there is also ghost hacker team uh, on linkedin which is a group you can uh, join it freely so if you like that video you can subscribe like and comment your comment is very valuable uh, and please share it thank you so much for connecting bye bye take care